beams are horizontal load bearing elements in a structure. Types of beams based on supports. We are going to look at six different types based on this classification of supports, which are cantilever beam, simply supported beam, overhanging beam, double overhanging beam, fixed beam, continuous beam. Cantilever beam. A cantilever beam is fixed at one end and free at the other end. In a building structure, for example, cantilever beams support the balcony. A balcony simply creates additional floor space without causing obstacles on the ground below it. Consider this balcony, which is supported by beams. Each of the beams is supported at one end, which is fixed to the wall. The free end of the cantilever is exposed to self-weight, human activities, and other life or imposed loads. Cantilever beams are very useful, for example, in the construction of stadium, which eliminates the use of columns. Depending on the structural design, the cantilever beams are replaced with trusses. Slab over certain length can deflect. Cantilever beams can fail via deflection, shear, or overturning. The analysis, design, and construction of complex cantilevers should be carried out by experienced professionals, for example, a structural engineer. A cantilever beam can deflect under gravity. When the length of a cantilever beam goes beyond its maximum design length, then it will be supported at the end. The support is usually a roller support system. When a cantilever beam is supported at the end. This is called propped cantilever beam. But when the cantilever beam is supported at any other location point which is not at the end, it is called propped cantilever beam with overhang. In bridge design and construction, this cantilever is fixed at one end and the other cantilever is fixed at the other end. The two cantilevers are connected by a little structure which has no peer support. This is known as a cantilever bridge. Cantilever beams can be made of timber, steel, or reinforced concrete. Cantilever structures can also be seen in chairs and table construction. Cantilever structures can be used for shelving and storing goods in a warehouse. In analysis and design of a cantilever, we use line to represent the beam as shown. At the fixed end, we use the fixed symbol. 
the cantilever can carry a point load or uniformly distributed load. How to analyze and design a cantilever beam has been treated in a separate video. Double cantilever beam. Double cantilever beam is simply a laboratory test or an experimental method used for testing static and cyclic loading conditions. This is also known as Timoshenko beam. This laboratory test can help in the analysis of deflections and stresses in beams. You can also test and analyze for fracture, toughness, and the materials at times are composite laminates. We can also use the computer for this analysis, which will involve finite element methods. Simply supported beam. A beam that is rested on two supports is known as a simply supported beam. Consider this simple bridge construction. This beam is rested on only two supports. Hence, this is a simply supported beam. To keep analysis and design simple, a simply supported beam is represented with line. The supports at both ends can be pinned or roller. A load on a simply supported beam can be a point load, multiple point loads or a uniformly distributed load or a combination of them. The calculations, analysis and design of a simply supported beam has been treated in a separate video. Fixed beam. Fixed beam is the most rigid type of support or connection. These are beams that make up this structure. Let's consider this beam. This beam is held rigidly at both ends and is restrained from rotation. Such a beam is known as fixed beam. Another name for a fixed beam is encastri beam. A cantilever beam is fixed at one end only, while a fixed beam is fixed at both ends. A good advantage of a fixed beam is that the sagging, that is, the bending moment of a fixed beam is reduced as well as the deflection compared to a simply supported beam. The maximum deflection at the center is equally much more reduced compared to a simply supported beam. A fixed beam is stiff and stable. The slope at both ends are zero. For the disadvantage, moment at the top is increased. Hence, we require reinforcement. Any change in temperature 
can generate stresses in the beam. To avoid extra stresses in the beam, both ends of the beam must be in the same level. A fixed beam is indeterminate and cannot be analyzed using equilibrium condition. Moments are generated at both ends. Fixed beams are very common in structural frames. You can use timber to construct a fixed beam or steel. or can be constructed of concrete, that is, reinforced concrete. The loading of a fixed beam can be a point load, uniformly distributed load, or other forms of complex loading. How to calculate, analyze, and design fixed beams has been treated in a separate video. Continuous beam. Continuous beam is a beam that extends over with more than two supports. The continuous supported beam can withstand greater loads by providing greater bending resistance along the length of the beam. Continuous beams can be used for multi-story buildings. Continuous beam, because of its bending resistance, is good for bridge design and construction. The need for continuous beam either timber, steel, or reinforced concrete is determined by planning and structural design. Continuous beams have some advantages. The deflection of continuous beam is reduced at mid-span. Continuous beam is quite economical because the design strengthens the structure, minimizes the weight and material cost. Continuous beams have lower sensitivity to vibrations and perform better in load reversal conditions like earthquakes. On the other hand, continuous beam have some disadvantages. For example, continuous beams are complex to construct and need high-skilled team for analyzing and designing procedures. The columns that will support continuous beams have increased internal forces. Another disadvantage is that increased shortening of beam causes lateral force on the supporting beams. Overhanging beam. This is a simply supported beam, supported at both ends. A simply supported beam is supported at two ends. Any extension beyond the support is simply known as overhanging. This diving board is supported at both ends. However, this beam extends to become overhanging. This beam 
is different from that of a balcony and helped to extend the floor inside the building. Overhanging beam can be used where it is not practical to provide a support to the beam at the end. Overhanging beam can deflect and hence need to be designed by a professional. Double overhanging beam. This is a simply supported beam. Any extension on both ends becomes double overhanging beam. A double overhanging beam is a simple beam with both ends extending beyond its support on both ends. The analysis design of an overhanging beam has been treated in a separate video. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. To locate other helpful videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video lesson.